Hey, JD from Flux Focus. This is the second of two switch mode power supplies that a friend asked me to repair. Uh, I finished the first one. This one's a DLS45 from IOTA. Uh, I think this is a little bit different from the last one I had. The last one was a DLS55. I don't know how different they are. Uh, so I'll uh, open this one up and see just how different uh, it is inside. Okay, so before I opened this one, I wasn't sure of uh, what the deal was with it and why it wasn't working, but um, there's a bit of a clue in there, and this one appears to have an issue with the uh, the rectifier, bridge rectifier. Uh, see if I can get that in there. That heatsink there is the heatsink there is the bridge rectifier that you, and you can see the bridge rectifier there Let's see if I can tilt that. maybe the lights not getting in there but uh, there's a lot of black and charred around that uh, bridge rectifier so I'm assuming for the moment that that is what has gone bust um, the capacitors uh, look okay everything else uh, looks okay um, although of course I can't tell until I get in in there but uh, there's not anything else I can see at the moment that's uh, as obviously black blackened and charred as much as uh, that uh, bridge rectifier so I'll open it up and uh, have a look at and have a look at just how bad it is Okay, so that's what you call a catastrophic failure, and in fact there's uh, streak marks on the bottom of the board and uh, in the chassis <laughs> from where from where the solder and the uh, and the pins from the rectifier uh, <laughs> uh, melted off and uh, went rolling about, or I suspect uh, flying about. Uh, inside underneath uh, so <laughs> I, I can't guess uh, exactly what's happened there the um, the insulation uh, between the board and the uh, chassis seems to be sound um, yeah no real explanation so far as to what's going on there I'm tempted to call that a beyond economical repair uh, but I might have a bit of a closer look to uh, see if there's any clues as to what might have happened. Um, you can see that even uh, the copper track underneath where the rectifier was, and I'll just flip it over again. Um, so that's where the rectifier is, and that's where the hole is underneath. And yeah, so some of the uh, copper um, from the bottom of the board's been blown off as well. Um, that is on the, just trying to have a look there, that's on the AC, or rather I should say that's on the, um, the input side, on the DC input side, uh, rather than, uh, the output side, so I think, um, I think those two contacts must have, um, must have shorted or touched uh, somehow, that's the only thing that I can think of that might have uh, done that. Very strange. Alright, well uh, I might give it a clean and see uh, how well I can uh, clean that up. Probably not very well. You can see now that I've cleaned it up just how badly uh, the copper got blown off the bottom of the rectifier uh, and I'm now going to um, try to take off the uh, the rectifier and uh, the choke uh, so that I can see a bit better under there and interestingly uh, the choke doesn't seem to be damaged and the enamel on uh, one of the uh, one of the lines uh, seems to be all right so um, I'll now try to take those components off.
Uh, so you can now see in the place where the rectifier and the choke were uh, same sort of damage on this side of the board and it's uh, still really based around uh, the input to the rectifier. Uh, that's the choke. And uh, I mean it's blackened and uh, charred but uh, otherwise uh, the enamel's okay and the um, the spaghetti tube over the other the other line is uh, intact as well. Uh, but the damage happened after that uh, point uh, in any case. Uh, so <coughs> here's the rectifier and uh, it's lived up to its name. It wrecked everything and uh, the two middle pins which uh, should be well they are the AC um, the markings were probably once upon a time on the device but they're not anymore oh I can see a plus uh, but definitely those uh, two middle pins uh, would have been uh, the AC input uh, which would have been receiving DC input but that shouldn't matter it should be able to handle that uh, so it's still a bit of a mystery as to uh, what's happened even though I still think the power supply is uh, only good for spare parts now I've uh, bought a uh, rectifier anyway and uh, I'm going to put this in and see if I can make it work uh, even though the solder joints aren't going to be very good and you wouldn't want to try to use it uh, on a full load I'm going to see if I can make it go anyway. It might uh, might make a decent um, low power benchtop power supply or just something to test your circuit with. Anyway, I'll give this a go. Okay, I've put that rectifier in now, and I'll just get that in there, and I've put the uh, put the choke on as well. Uh, it's obviously not a, a great fit, not a great job, uh, but we'll turn that on and and see how that goes. Okay, this is all set up. We're going to turn it on and see if it doesn't blow up. Oh, no, I didn't like that. Uh, so my guess is that there's a short somewhere further down and uh, because of the state of the circuit board I don't think we're interested in uh, trying to repair that. Uh, but you saw the lights did turn on for a moment. So I would deem this unit uh, spare parts beyond economical repair. That's a pity but there you go. Thanks for watching.